Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Zangi Messenger app. So this is going to be a WhatsApp alternative. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using Zangi? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to install the app itself. So in this case, go ahead and visit Google Play Store here, search for Zangi, and install it in your mobile device. Now once you've installed, let's go ahead and open it up. And once it's actually opened up, it's now going to ask you whether you want to register or to sign in. So since we're fairly new, let's go ahead and choose a set register. And from here, we also want to accept the terms of use and privacy policy. So if you want to read those, just click on the appropriate links here. In this case, let's go ahead and accept those. Now, once we accepted that, it should redirect us into the registration page. In this case, it's now going to ask you for storage permission. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And from here, let's go ahead and click on allow. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to enter our profile. So let's go ahead and enter our name here and click on continue. Now, we need, now need to enter a password that we want to use for account. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter our password. Now, once you've entered your password on the next page, it's now going to show you your Zangi number. So you can share that to your friends if you want to. And in the next page, it's going to say uh, some security features here, like no data collection, registration without phone number, and without personal contact sharing. Now, I also have a lot of information here. So in this case, you could go ahead and read through all those like best tech for saving data and other information here. So in this case, let's go ahead and proceed with the other features here. And from here, it's going to say, please make sure Zangi enabled is protected app section of the device settings. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on check device settings here. But for now, let's go ahead and click on OK. Now, in this case, how do we start using Zangi here? So the first thing you see here is going to be the chat section. So if you have any messages on your account, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now, if you click on the right button at the bottom right of your screen, this is what, where you'll be able to start creating your messages from your contacts. So in this case, you'll be able to create new chats. Now, if you want to add someone, you can just click on add contact here. And from here, you, ju you just need to enter your first name, last name, as well as the Sangi number that they have. Now, typically, you should, you should be able to see their Sangi number at the um, menu here or in their profile. Now, in this case, if you want to create a new one, you can just basically select them and they should be able to uh, basically uh, have you in their contacts and have the conversation with them by the chat section. Now, if you want to call someone, this is where you will be able to call them. Now, if you want to uh, quick call someone, just click on the call button at the bottom right. And from then on, you should be able to choose from the members or the contacts that you have right now to be or um, to be uh, to be able to contact them via this call. If you want to use the dialer, just click on the dialer just below the uh, call button here. And that would actually uh, open it up. And you can just basically type in the Zangi number that you have and call them on the app itself. Now, if you're going to go to contacts here, this is where you'll be able to see all the contacts that I have. Now, in this case, uh, also, if you want to allow Zangi to have access to your contacts, so in this case, uh, you will be able to see the contacts or that will actually connect your current contacts to Zangi here, which is a cool, cool feature here. And also, if you want to add someone, just click on the add at the bottom right. And again, just add their first name, last name, and their Zangi number. Now, also, if you want to access your settings, so at the top right, you should be able to see a gear icon. This is where you'll be able to see your private number, your profile name, and if you are subscribed to Zangi Premium, you should be able to see it as well in here. Now, if you want to invite your friends, just click on invite friends here, and you should be able to invite them via SMS or a different method via share. Now, you should be able to choose what method you want to share your uh, contact with, with your friends online. Now, in this case, we also have chats here if you want to change a few settings here. Like for example, the color, this is a color here. If you want to make it dark mode, if you like the dark colors. And also, we have the uh, text sizes here. So any personalization and any preferences is where you'll, you'll be able to change it for your chats. Now, in this case, uh, we also have the privacy here. So if you want to uh, change a few things, like, for example, show your status, if you want to hide it or show it, you have the show when typing or show when uh, scene status is enabled on your account. But disabling this option, uh, you will not be also, you won't be also be, you won't be able to actually see the scene status as well. So yeah, so in case you want to uh, disable that. 
Also, you have the block contacts here if you want to block anyone on your account and don't want to receive any messages or calls from them. And again, if you want to delete your account, just, just choose the delete account option. Now, again, there's going to be a lot of settings that you can uh, view in the settings area, like changing your text sizes, uh, changing the Zangi languages here. So you could change it to a different language here. So English, Russian, Arme Armenian, and a lot more. But if you want to automatically detect that, you have the device language, which is the default one that we set up in here. So you also have a lot here. If you want to change appearances of your Zangi, you could go choose appearances here and change uh, whatever. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to, let's just say, click on three dot icon here, uh, you have the option to uh, basically uh, do like settings. So if you want to go immediately to your settings and your chat, this is what how you do it. Like for example, changing the chat uh, background here, you could basically open up your gallery here and choose a chat background. Show quick chat if you want to. Orientation uh, for left-handed if you want to set that. So that would change the orientation to the left. And yeah. So you also have the low data usage, which in this case enables you to consume minimum data if your internet is expensive. So this will actually uh, save you a lot of data if you're using your data. But yeah, so those are the basics that you need to know when using Zangi here, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.